Welcome everyone. I've got a quick tip for you today. As I was going through my projects, I've got a lot of stuff that's just kind of in progress, waiting on decals, waiting on some kind of set. And so I thought it would be beneficial to show you how I kind of put these stuff as in progress and how I do a little bit of storage and some things with that. And I thought of a really cool money saving idea for you. So what I have here is the what Mr. Nico Note Station G Tool Mr. Hobby thing. And what I did is I put these cable ties in there and I can just set my aircraft on there. And so I just, those wheel wells just kind of hug right in there. And then it does a pretty good job at just sticking around. And I kind of thought to myself, hmm, well, this is really just corrugated, you know, cardboard. It's just boxes. So I can make that. <clears throat> then further along, I said, hmm, I, these little twisty tie things, I can make that. I don't need to spend $10. And that's how we arrived at this. So first step is I just grabbed a bunch of cardboard, make sure that, you know, all the corrugations are lining up on the same rate. Uh, I mean, same, they're all in line all about the same shape. I could have been a little bit more cleaner, obviously. It's a bit not perfectly level, but it doesn't really need to be. So I put that and I tape them all together like so. And then to make the holders, what this is, is this, I think it's 16 gauge, but as long as it's fairly thick wire and then get into solid copper core. And so it bends and holds and stays and retains in its area there. And then on the end, I have this plastic dip. So you just dip it in there and then you give it a couple hours or so for it to dry and you're left with a rubber tip. So you put those in here, Let's make it for a smaller and you can change it around depending on what size aircraft you're trying to do and reposition a little bit so it fits. So I've got my Eduard Wildcat here and you can just try to, oh, well, nope, I need longer. There you go. Oh, and now it just sets on that and it's pretty resilient. I mean, there's a little bit of wobble and stuff. And what I like is how you have these posts. They don't scratch it when it comes to the paint job. That's awkward, just ripped a part off. <laughs> but it's not foolproof. If you're Cameron, you can screw things up. So you have that there. Then, if you wanted to, you can make these guys with some alligator clips and then just some uh, shish kebab sticks and then stick them in like so. And then there, you can grab Uh, let's say this piece here and you can do some painting and paint it like this now so there's two options with it if you want don't want to if you don't have a whole lot of time and just want to buy something you can get the mr hobby piece that replaces like this about 10 bucks and it comes with about four of these and you can do it that way as far as for here i mean as long as you do enough internet shopping you're gonna have boxes and then the wires, I spent like $2 on a couple feet of these wires, snipped it. And then this rubberized plastic dip was $10. So if you wanted to, for a matter of $15, you could probably make 10 of these things and have each of your projects secured and just sitting on these ready to go. And then also behind me, you can see I've got some kind of drawers where I can tuck them out and put them out of their way and all that. So it works really well if you have something that isn't on its landing gear like this yet, or like this 199 that I'm working on that has all sorts of different fiddly bits that I decided to put on the bottom. Um, yeah, it's good to put it on something like that to make it so those don't pop off.
All right, so hopefully you found that informative. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you have some other suggestions on some simple tips uh, where you can kind of save some money in the hobby and uh, put that in the comments. And we'll see you in the next video.